Hello, welcome back to my vlog. We have been out and about shopping today. We went to Walmart to get Graceland school supplies, got some clothes there. They had not a lot in the girl section. They never do. They have a lot of cute baby and toddler stuff. And then we went to Target and I found some cute stuff at Target. We just dropped off Patrick at work. He has been having to take my car to work because his insurance has still, they have yet to pay him. Today I really needed my car because I really wanted to get the school shopping done. I still need to find some shoes for her. She needs a new pair of gym shoes and then like a, just a pair of casual shoes possibly. She already has a pair that still fits her that's in great condition still. So it is the next day. Today is Friday. I have hair all over me. I shed like crazy. Like it's actually kind of concerning how much hair I lose. I like to just say it's because of postpartum, <laughs> but I lose so much hair. There's always hair stuck all over my body because it falls out of my head. And then don't even get me started with the shower. I'll do a haul probably at some point today of like all of the clothes and stuff that I have gotten for her for back to school. But right now I'm about to do a little patio makeover. I got a new patio set and also this really nice fire pit and I got some cute plants and stuff. So I'm just gonna go out there and put it all together. I'm really late because it's almost fall, but honestly, it's been so hot this summer that I haven't even wanted to sit outside on my patio. So now that like the weather's cooling down and it's gonna be fall time soon, we already have this nice little fire pit. I think it will be better like during this time of the year to put it all together anyways. I power washed this rug the other day and it took me so long because it has all of this white and it's like a floral design, but this rug was disgusting. I hadn't used it in like two years. It was all green and nasty, but I'm really happy it's finally nice and clean. <laughs> what we got going I just need to mention we eventually want this to all be these white marble rocks but it's so much work to do it by yourself this is what I've accomplished for this summer I got quoted for this to be done like by landscaping people and they said it would be $700 for them to just take the rock out not even put new rock in just take it out and like level it all out and I'm sorry absolutely not we'll do it ourselves Maybe we won't, I don't know. Maybe we'll just have mix, mix max rocks forever. But the rock situation at our house is just so chaotic. Like there's different rocks over here. This is a hot mess. I don't know, but at least I got this looking cute around the patio. We used to have this little house over here, but then the girls never went in it because of like bugs and stuff. So then I moved it onto the patio and I power washed it. I kind of power washed it a little bit too hard. As you can see, there's like squiggle lines, but whatever. You can just restain it one day. It's nice and clean. I hung these little bee lights up for them. These are actually solar powered, which is really neat. So during the day, it charges it up. And then at night, these little bees glow like a blue color. It's super cute. Since I ordered this new patio stuff, I moved their house over onto the rocks. And I am going to get these little like rubber type tiles that I can put in there so that they can play on it and not have to worry about you know the rocks hurting their feet or anything even though they'll have shoes on still if they want to like sit or anything in it basically like these but they're rubber and then as for the patio this is what it looks like so they have the same cute little lights I got a couple years ago from Mark's for a really good deal I found this really cute plant I really love like the pinks though and the greens this is so pretty I think I'm gonna have Patrick repot this though, put like some new soil in it because it's pretty dried up. It's on this cute little plant stand, which this is originally from Walmart. It's galvanized on the top. This is an indoor outdoor. My mom got this from Mark's though for super cheap. I don't know how cheap, probably like five bucks. 
and I thought it would look really good out here. It's just been sitting in my garage. And then this is the fire pit. This and the set right here is from Best Choice Products. We also have that hanging swing that we got last year from Best Choice Products and I love their stuff. It's really affordable and it's really good quality. This is a fireplace that has a propane tank underneath and it has these really cute decorative rocks. So we'll be able to just have a nice fire that we can sit by out here and relax we do have a fire pit over there but obviously we have to get wood and stuff for that and it's just not the same this is a lot easier we literally just turn it on <laughs> and this is the set I got I will have as much of the stuff linked as I can but I went with this like tan type of tan kind of beige color this is like an all-weather wicker type material and I love it I love the wicker look this isn't real wicker but you know, it looks like wicker. Home Depot I went to. They had all of these succulents on sale for half off. So I got this for $7, which is such a good deal. This is another one I'm going to try and keep alive. A lot of it was dead. And I picked a lot of the dead parts out. And then, of course, I got some beautiful purplish hanging mums to go on the back of this pergola. Which this thing is so dirty, so old. I really want to get around to restaining this but it just didn't happen this year. There's a lot of things that didn't happen and that's fine. You know, we're at like a really busy season of our life right now where I just have to say, maybe in a couple years we can do that. I think it looks really cute and it actually makes me want to come out here and relax. It's super breezy today. It's like a nice breeze going on. So it's like the perfect day to do that. I'm about to hook up this propane tank I have like a fear, I don't know what's wrong with me, I have a fear of like gas. I think it's mainly just because of carbon monoxide poisoning, like the fact that that can even happen. I don't know, it just freaks me out. I've never done this before, neither has Patrick, so I feel more comfortable if like I just do it because I am just so freaked out about like gas, it just scares me so bad. I'm really following these directions right now, very thoroughly to make sure that everything in here is all good. Just like keep turning it or does it matter? I'm just facing that one. I just have the gas on. You can just leave the gas on. It says open. Go this way. Open. So yes. this is turning it on. Yes. Yes. I just turned it off. I turned it this way. Ah. I'm done. It's too freaking stressful. Okay, so that last clip I filmed was so stressful. <laughs> I don't know. I just, it like freaks me out. My sister Emily came over and she helped me figure it out. Patrick and I both were trying to do it and we couldn't figure it out, but we just weren't holding down the like thing that you turn, the knob. You're supposed to hold it down instead of just turn it. <laughs> Whatever. It's figured out now, it works, it's great. We tested it out, it's gonna be so nice at nighttime. We are just hanging out with my sister for a little bit. She just left not that long ago. I just got Isla. Never mind. I hear her crying. Hmm. Well, I thought I got her down for a nap. Hold on. What are you doing? Is that Isla? <laughs> Is that Isla? <laughs> yeah, that's Isla. <laughs> that's my beautiful baby girl. <laughs> that's my beautiful baby girl. I'm gonna do a haul of everything <laughs> that I got for Graceland for back to school. Basically just knocked out all of the shopping yesterday. She starts school this coming week and I hadn't done any shopping yet. So super last minute this year, but I finally feel good. Like we have all her supplies. I have lots of clothes for her, shoes. So I feel good about her starting school. Shockingly, her supplies list this year wasn't as much as it was last year. Like for kindergarten, I feel like it was a lot more. Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like it was a lot less this year. So she needed a one inch binder. She just picked out this one with hearts all over it. She needed a 20 pack of the clear sheet divider thingies, black expo markers, four packs of Crayola crayons. She needed a pack of yellow highlighters. I wish I could have got the thicker ones because I feel like they're just easier for um, kids to use, but all they had were the tiny skinny ones. Scissors were on the list, but she already has 
her scissors from last year, so she's just gonna use these again. 12 pack of the Elmer's glue sticks. All they had were the ones with the scented glitter, and then they have a couple of the regular ones, so I, I hope they don't mind. I don't see why it would be an issue. A 24 pack of the Ticonderoga, I think is how you say it, number two pencils they need to be sharpened but i guess i'm just gonna have to sit there and sharpen them we have an electric sharpener so. they asked for some disinfecting wipes so i got two of the great value lemon scent and then also asked for some gallon size freezer bags also from walmart random but i was all out of my seventh generation disinfecting sprays she has a pencil pouch from last year it's just like the school pencil pouch that they give them but i asked her if she wanted to get her own so she picked out this hard case so it's just like rainbow and then it goes to gold like i said toddler maybe they have a lot of cute stuff with the girl section i can never find anything in there but gracelyn did find this dress on her own and it is so adorable look at it this was only $11.98, it's nice and stretchy, it's lightweight, it'll be perfect. I am so sorry. Hazel wanted to pick out a dress since Graceland got one. She is obsessed with wearing dresses. It's the only thing she wants to wear. So we found this unicorn one, it's what she chose. So the long sleeve ones, they have these every single year. They're super cheap, they're only $5.98. So this was on clearance for $9, which is actually really good for these types of dresses. It's a Elsa like nightgown. We went to Target because they were having a 30% off. So I got a pretty decent deal on this stuff, at least for like Target clothes I did. But for all of this, I think it came to around like $60. So I got her a pink pair of leggings, a navy blue pair, black skirt, really cute, super stretchy shirt. I thought that this would just look cute like with it maybe tucked in or something these shirts are so comfy she actually picked out all of these clothes this floral print she loves sonic the hedgehog so she had to have this shirt butterfly shirt this dress is adorable i love it look at how cute it is so so cute and then on the clearance rack i found this random pair of like really lightweight blue joggers these were on sale for eleven dollars we stopped at kohl's i had looked online for some gym shoes for her and i saw that kohl's had these sketchers on sale for 29.99 we went there they had one pair in her size we got super lucky so i was able to snatch these for her these velcro sketchers super easy to just put on in the morning before school i still need to go through her closet so that's something that i will hopefully get done in this vlog is like going through her closet and packing all her old clothes away storing those away putting all the new stuff in i need to like wash all of this stuff as well which will be a task in itself so i'm about to make some food because i'm super hungry right now like, all right jk we decided to come to the park we got some food Got some Chick-fil-A. We're gonna eat at these little picnic tables and let the girls play. The sun is setting. You can kind of see it's like on the playground right here. Oh my gosh, pushing this stroller through the grass. We are back from the park now. I'm finally getting around to folding my laundry. That was one thing I wanted to get done today was my laundry. I've been th doing it throughout the day. Tomorrow morning, I'm leaving for a trip with my sister, me and my sister Emily and our babies. We're gonna go to Columbus for the night. She has her friend's baby's birthday party. Isla obviously has to come with me because she's exclusively breastfed. So I'm gonna have a little time away. Honestly, it's gonna be such a vacation because I'm only gonna have one baby. And in my opinion, babies are the easiest. Like so far, out of all the ages I've went through, newborn for sure is hands down the easiest. She has her friend's baby's birthday party and Columbus is about 
two and a half hours from us. We have Saturday evening to do stuff and then all day Sunday. It is now a little bit later on. It's like an hour later since I last vlogged. I got my bag all packed for tomorrow. I just need to throw some things in it like my makeup, deodorant, all that stuff in the morning. Got I lit a bed, Grayson's sleeping. Patrick's putting Hazel to bed right now. I just went out here on the patio because I want to enjoy our nice new fire pit. And I tried to start it, light it up again, and I cannot do it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So I'm going to try it again. Um, I texted my sister. I was like, why can't I get this to work? <laughs> I actually did it like super fast this time around. I'm really proud of myself. I have to talk super quiet, but I made this mini charcuterie board on one of the kids' plates because they're just perfect. So I have some spicy pickles, a baby bell cheese, some green grapes, pretzels, and then this garlic cheese spread. I'm also having a little bit of some red wine. It is the next morning. We're all packed up. My sister came to pick me up. We got the babies in the back. Got our Starbucks. Emily stopped at Starbucks before she came to get me. And now we're going to be on the road. Out of my mind, how could I be so blind? How could I not see? Awake on the floor, looking up, wanting more. This is so unreal. All right, we've arrived. Oh, God. I, I almost got chopped. I should not have gone in this with the stroller. Like, why did I come in here? Mimi, are you coming for the ride? I just want to look into your house. We are now in our hotel room. Do... I have a very excited baby right now. I'm going to do a little hotel tour of our room. This is the nicest hotel I stayed in. It's very bougie, at least in my opinion. There's the door. It's got this really cute light. I love this. I've actually never seen a hotel, She's so darn noisy, have this, but it's like a little mini mud, mud room type of area thing. And then the bathroom is over here. It has this really nice <clears throat> sliding door. Ooh, it has a soft close. So you don't smash your fingers. And here is the bathroom, and the mirror has like this dim light if you don't want to turn on the big light. This is what it looks like though with the light on. I'm obsessed with this bathroom. I love this bathroom. It's so freaking cute. I love the color of this vanity and the floors. So cute. Has a shower. No bath, but that's fine. We're just staying here for one night. And then over on this side, is a whole separate area <laughs> for the toilet. And then this is just the main area. So we have two beds. We have a bag and play over here. There's a desk, TV, a little chair. And then here is the view outside. We're staying in Polaris. I dropped my sister off at the party she literally had like 10 miles left she was like here take my card in case you need to get gas has 10 miles left in her gas tank so i definitely need to get some gas but i think i'm about to go to tim hortons they have a bunch of them here in columbus and i have never been to one but i always see people posting the coffee from there and it looks so good and i've always wanted to try it so I also need like a little snack. We have a dinner reservation for 7.30 for this like Italian place, but it's only 3.30 right now. So I definitely need a little snack. All I ate today was a sandwich. It's a really good sandwich that I got from the gas station on the way here. It was so good. She has this cool video 
baby monitor. I don't know if you could even see, but that's my niece's car seat right there. She has that like 360 car seat, so she has it turned because she was getting her out of the car, but Isla is napping back there. There I am in the front seat. I got my iced cap. Wow, that's extremely sweet. It's pretty good, pretty good. I mean, it's not anything like, it's not anything special, you know? I think you could probably get this anywhere, but it's good. I really wanted something sweet. I was like craving something sweet. I need some energy because I'm feeling like really tired. I did not get a lot of sleep last night. My sister is done with the party. It was raining so hard and she had left the party like when it was pouring. Honestly, it was super scary. It was pouring. She ran to the car. My niece got like soaking wet and she put her in the car seat. And as soon as she put her in the car seat and she ran around the car, lightning struck so close. Like I swear it, it had to have been within a hundred feet because it was so loud and it was like a huge flash. And she like screamed and got in the car. It was super scary. I was like, what if you got struck by lightning? Like that would have been really scary. Hello? Hi, I got chocolate, key lime, Nestle crunch, vanilla, Buckeye peanut butter. I'm sitting in the back with the babies because they were kind of getting upset. So if I sit back here and keep them entertained, it helps. But my sister just ran into this ice cream place. I think it's called Wits. She said they have these really good ice cream sandwiches. We're eating a lot of sweets today. A lot of sweets. We're eating, we're getting ice cream before dinner. I thought someone um, ran out of our car or you or something. Wow, I'm like, these are huge. <laughs> Do they usually come with chocolate or do you pick that? A lot of ones different. Like, oh. This is the Nestle Crunch Witty. This giant ice cream sandwich. Holy moly. <laughs> They're just like staring at me like, what you got? The breading's really good. The breading. The breading. <laughs> that's, that's what I call it. The, the breading. <laughs> yeah, the cookie. I don't know why I said breading. <laughs> All right, it is the next morning. Had a pretty good sleep last night in the hotel. Honestly, we got really lucky, my sister and I, because we got back, the babies were super tired. Like at dinner, they were so done. We went out to this Italian restaurant and then after, we had to stop at Target because we just like forgot some stuff, so I ran in there. I got this shirt on clearance. I packed pajamas, but I really wanted just like a loose, baggy shirt and the pajamas I packed were not like that at all. It was literally two dollars. I don't even care what it says. I just wanted a loose <laughs> I just wanted a loose baggy shirt. Anyways we got super lucky because when we got back they were super tired. It was like like probably 9 30. They both went to bed so well and they both slept pretty well. So nice to sleep in a hotel room like the freezing cold hotel room with the really nice bedding and pillows and all that. Such a good experience. Emily just took the babies on a walk actually in the stroller, so I'm gonna enjoy some peace <laughs> and quiet time and try and just get ready as fast as I can because we do have to check out here at 11. It's like eight o'clock right now. We woke up at 7.30. We're gonna go get breakfast. I think we're gonna try and hit up Ikea like I said, but I don't know, we'll see. we'll see. So I never ended up finishing vlogging in Columbus. I didn't really vlog at all on Sunday, but I can tell you guys what we did. So after I got ready at the hotel, we checked out and then we went out to breakfast at this really good breakfast place. I don't remember what it was called, but it was actually really, really good. And then we went to Ikea. My sister wanted to look for some specific items there, which, they were all out of stock, which was a bummer, but we just got some little random things. I got like a garbage can. I got the girls these cute little ceramic tea sets. I got some kitchen stuff. It's really nothing special, so I'm not even gonna show it. And also I looked at the toy storage slash organization they have there and I love the options that they have. I really wanna get some of their toy storage. And then after Ikea, we went to the mall with hopes to shop but honestly like we had two babies and it just wasn't working out it was like their nap time they were cranky we basically just went to the cafeteria and like 
ate some food and then we let them play like around in this little area in the mall and then we left and we came home but nonetheless it was still a really good trip with my sister and it was very relaxing <laughs> for me and i had a good time so now it is the week graceland started school i'm about to go to a doctor's appointment here i'm getting an echo done on my heart and then i have a follow-up appointment with my cardiologist i'm like in the process of just figuring a lot of things out health-wise about me so that's been a journey an ongoing thing for a couple months now but hopefully soon i can get some answers as to why I feel the way I do and why I have the things that are happening to me happening to me. Anyways, I'm rambling now, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.